Hey guys, Jeremy here from Adreno, and I got a problem with my mask. Let's talk about foggy masks. The first one of those is cleaning your mask. When your mask comes from the factory, the silicon and the glass is molded together will just end up resulting in either some silicon overspray uh, and some residue that will end up on the lens itself. Now, this can be talked about as a protective layer. What it is, is just excess silicon that has formed a layer over the glass. And like a dirty windscreen in your car, that's going to attract any fog, any dirt, any grime. And what we need to do is buff it and we've got to get rid of it. So number one, the silicon overspray or excess silicon needs to be buffed out of the glass. There's a couple of ways to do that. And most of you will have heard about uh, those things. So number one, there is Seabuff, micro crystals in a cream that we can apply to the mask itself. A couple of little drops. And once we've done that, it's time to go to work. Put on your favorite TV show and scrub. You need to just get stuck in there with your fingers and scrub the actual glass itself. You can get a toothbrush if you want to or a soft cloth, but those little micro crystals are gonna start breaking down that silicon and start working away at getting rid of that layer. Now you will have heard other things you can use. Uh, some people will use a flame. So you can take to the mask with a lighter if you want to. What that will do is burn away some of that excess silicon, but it's still going to require a clean. So you still need to get your sea buff in there and start working your way around the edges and really buff that glass up. So clean glass is, is always the best glass for your diving. The other one you will have heard of is toothpaste. That will also do a similar thing, but we will require a fair bit more work. And on one of these small masks like this, you might find that minty residue, a little bit stingy on the eyes. Once you've given the glass a good old buff, the second thing you need to do is get some mild detergent, lukewarm water, and you wanna wash the lenses, you wanna wash the skirt. So the actual skirt of the mask is going to have some chemicals from the release agent from the mold. So as the mask is, is released out of the mold, they do use chemicals. Now, when the mask comes to you, look, it should be pretty clean from the factory, but also, you know, it can pick up oils, grime, and any of that on the skirt can start making its way onto the glass and result in you again having a foggy mask. So very, very important. After you've buffed the glass, wash it, wash the skirt, and once the mask is clean and dry, it should be ready to use. When giving the glass a buff, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, take half an hour if you want to. Uh, you're not gonna hurt the glass, it's tempered and designed for diving, so uh, get stuck into it. Now, if you find that your mask is still foggy, after that, you might need to reapply. There's a few other areas where that rule doesn't quite apply or precautions you need to take. So when you buy your brand new mask, there's a few things to consider. Number one, some people really like these beautiful UV cut lenses that you've got, so Apex make one, uh, Atomic have their arc lenses. A few of these have actually got an outer layer on the glass and don't require you to scrub them. So please check that prior to getting stuck into your mask. So your Apex mask, there's a lovely video from Apex about how to prep that one using a bit of soap and a cloth, but you do need to be aware of that. The second one is, uh, if you have a tinted lens, these tinted lenses on the outside of the mask are fantastic for certain purposes, but what's really important is that on the inside only is where you do the clean. Some people like to clean the outside, but on these in particular, just the inside. This Tusa mask here, the Vizio, terrific mask, has 20 layers of protecting coating on the outside, and you will find a bit of pre-cleaning already. So you might find some of these masks here. You, again, you do want to take precautions with the outside of the mask, but you can get stuck into the inside of these ones, but not the UV cut lens there. So important to pay attention to that. Now, you've got a clean mask. You're ready to jump in the water. You can get ready and have a big old, you know, hock a big loogie and spit in your mask or get your friend to do it if, you, if you're really into the, you know, they've got a really good booger setup going on. 
or you can use an antifog. So antifog, you've got something like sea gold, sea drops, or something with an applicator like the Tusa, which you can apply to the glass. All of these particular varieties you apply just before you get in, give it a good smear, quick rinse, and on the face. And depending on the aspect of uh, whether you are just doing a dive and having surface interval, if you're out maybe free diving or spear fishing, snorkeling, and you're in the water for a few hours at a time, well, if that's the case, you might use a more viscous setup like sea gold, or if it's um, a dive surface interval, sea drops, um, a little bit shorter lifespan in the mask and reapply before the next dive, but it does have a cleaner as well. Very good for optical lenses. If you apply an antifog onto a clean mask, there is very, very good 99.9% .99 chance that that mask is not gonna fog up. Sure, sometimes it does, but you can always repeat the process of the clean, or maybe it was just a really hot day and some really cold water. But um, what we've got to consider there is that these, these things do work. They genuinely work. Um, so you just need to check that you follow these steps along the way to make sure that your mask is lovely, clean, anti-fogged, and ready for you to go diving.